Hey everybody, I just wanted to share some interesting experiences I had recently. Um, the first one was in a grocery store. And uh, when I walked in, there was a sign that said that they wanted everybody to wear masks. It didn't say it was required, um, so I just ignored it and I walked in. But then I saw that I was the only one not wearing a mask, so I decided maybe it would be a good idea to start recording. So I did that. And everything seemed you know, normal, aside from the fact that everyone was wearing masks, but nobody was, like, yelling at me or screaming or anything like that or trying to kick me out, so, you know, I was just doing my thing, looking around, and I did notice that there was this one guy who I could tell was uncomfortable with the fact I wasn't wearing a mask, but I didn't look directly at him. I could just see from my periphery vision um, that he was trying to avoid me, um... And so, you know, I just kept doing my thing. I just ignored him. And there was a point where he started walking down an aisle towards me. But then as soon as he saw me, he turned around and went back. And he was trying to go to the next aisle. But I was actually going to the next aisle anyway. So I was just going to walk straight through. And then um, he stopped at the end and he was going to wait for me to pass. And... Then I happened to walk right by my sister who works there, so it made me stop and turn around right where he was, so I was, you know, close to him for extra long, and, you know, I could tell that I was making him uncomfortable, but again, I didn't look at him, so I didn't notice what he was doing, and I went to go talk with my sister, you know, I gave her a hug, and, you know, I could tell that would piss him off, so that's why I was happy to do it, um, but also I hadn't seen my sister in a little while, so it was nice. And, you know, we had a chat and everything. It was cool. And, you know, then I just went along with my business. And um, it wasn't until I went back to look at the video when I saw that when he was encountering me on multiple occasions, he gave me the finger. So I think he saw that I was recording and he was clearly uncomfortable with the fact that I wasn't wearing a mask and he flicked me off like right to the camera but I mean I'm glad I didn't see it because I mean I would have ignored it anyway if I noticed at the time but uh, I mean it's just crazy you know he had his own mask he had his gloves you know you could tell he was just biting into the fear and you know I, I think people need to know that slaves were forced to wear masks so I'll include a picture of them so you can see that you know What's happening right now is not about public health. It's about public control. So I just hope you guys start to see this because, you know, if you're not seeing it by now, then I don't know if there's hope for you because, I mean, the direction we're going in is not a good direction and things will never go back to normal. Not after this. But anyway, so I'm going to slow down the video for you um, when he flicks me off and you guys can see that. So. Thanks for watching. And the very next day, something else happened. I went into work, and I went to go clock in. And as soon as I opened the door, my coworker stuck a gun in my face. He was trying to take my temperature. He had the temperature gun. And I, of course, dodged it. I didn't let him scan it, and he couldn't understand why. Um, so there has been a new policy for the past week or so at my job where 
corporate says uh, they got to log everybody's temperature every morning. And if you have a fever, you get sent home. And, of course, that was brought to my attention a week ago, but I just declined. I kept clocking in anyway. Um, without they they uh, tell you to go up to the cashier to get scanned and logged, um, which is like on the other side of the building from where you clock in. So I just conveniently avoided that. And until today, when he tried to scan me, and um, I just kept going. I clocked in. I told him no. And um, he was confused as to why I would decline such a thing. So I told him, I think I'm enough of an adult to know when I have a fever and know not to come in. Um, so, you know, I just brushed it off uh, and I went to go get my coffee. And on the way back, I saw that he was in my boss's office. So um, I hit the record button because I knew I was about to get called in there. And this is what happened. What's up? Huh? This is too corporate. I can't get it to take your temperature every day. Okay. I mean, is that a law? Well, corporate. Okay. Um, well, I don't consent because I'm pretty sure I can tell if I have a fever or not. If I did, I'd be smart enough not to come in. Yeah, but why would you not consent? Because I don't leave it up to corporate to be my doctor. I'm not trying to be your doctor. Just yeah, I know, and I understand that, but I respectfully decline. I mean, if they want to send like a medical professional, I mean, that's one thing. I know, but there could be a common issue where they're just going to send you home. Okay, well, I'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Why okay. Because I don't live in 1984. I know, but what's the, what is the big harm in it? Uh, privacy, freedom. I mean, they're going to start making us take tests and take vaccines. No. I'm not going to be down with that. No, they're not going to make you take what kind of tests? Like the COVID test. They do a swab. They can't do it. Medical professionals have to do it. Well, yeah, I know, but I'm saying that, like, I'm not going to stand for that. Okay. But just taking your temperature is going to take away any of I know. That, that's the first step down a slippery slope oh, that I'm not okay with. I understand those things, too. But we still have laws that regulates who I can buy a gun for, you know? Yeah. I, I totally disagree with it, but those laws are in there right now. And they keep pushing for more, and all I can do is fight for it. You know, bullets and all those other things that I can do at this point. But I don't think you should push back too much on this thing. It's going to be probably for another week or two, and it'll probably end another day. I'm not so sure about that. So I mean, the know. lockdown's in place until June. I know, but this thing is just funny. It's, nobody's recording it, no one's doing it. No one's logging it in, no one's sending it. Yeah, I know, so that's why I'm, I don't understand why it's a big deal to have to do it. It's, it's not. I'm just, just letting you know, don't make it too big of a deal. Okay. Just have somebody write it down. It's not even very accurate. I know, I mean, we, we had those guns ourselves and... Yeah, it's not very Like, accurate. it doesn't get internal temperature. No, that's what I'm saying, it's not... It's never going to lead back. Yeah. Well, I know I'm not worried about having a fever or anything like that. I'm just, I don't like the idea of it. I don't like the idea of either. What I do is I don't like that I have to live with in a country that is still a lot better than other countries. Yeah, I guess that's true. Just, just don't get too caught up in it, all right? Just okay. Just try to work with your employer and, you know, they try to make give you benefits that are from the government through COVID and all that shit. And for you to be here, they want us to give a scan for every day that you're here. And hopefully they'll, they'll be giving us some extra money this month as well to pay for the end of the month because the average that you made last year. Okay. Right. It's just that. Yeah, I understand. 